CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.5, Given a Scenario, Manage and Configure Basic Security Settings in the Microsoft Windows OS. Defender Firewall Management. Windows Defender Firewall is yet another built-in Windows security feature. It acts as your system's first line of defense when managing network traffic. The firewall controls what comes in and goes out, ensuring your system is safe from unauthorized access. Just like antivirus software, the firewall plays a key role in security, but instead of identifying malware, it focuses on monitoring your network connections. Now, we've discussed firewalls, and more specifically Windows Defender Firewall, earlier in this course, but this time, I will focus on how to activate and deactivate this security feature. I'll also dive into port security, providing a real-world example, and wrap things up by explaining how you can control application-specific access to your Windows device. Let's start with a walkthrough on how to activate or deactivate your Windows Defender Firewall. By default, this feature is turned on, but there may be times when you need to temporarily disable it, such as when troubleshooting or testing network configurations. To do this, head to Settings, then click on Update and Security. From here select Windows Security. Then click Firewall and Network Protection. If you followed the steps correctly, you will now see options to activate or deactivate the firewall for different network profiles. Just click on Domain, Private, or Public and you will be able to toggle the firewall for each network profile on or off. Just remember, turning off the firewall leaves your system exposed to potential threats, so it's a good idea to turn it back on as soon as you're done. Next, let's talk about port security. Ports are essentially the communication channels your system uses to send and receive data, and securing these ports is critical to keeping your network safe. Certain services use specific ports, like DNS, which operates on port 53, or RDP, which uses port 3389, for remote access. Port security is one way for a firewall to control network traffic. By allowing traffic only on necessary ports, you limit the opportunities attackers have to gain unauthorized access to your system. And just in case you are not sure which ports you should have committed to memory at this point in your learning journey, I posted a list behind me. Moving on, let's imagine you have a web server with the IP address 10.10.0.45. The server is currently set up with some open ports, like 53 for DNS, 80 for HTTP, and 443 for HTTPS. However, a technician needs to remotely access this server for troubleshooting and they want to establish an RDP session. Well, RDP will use port 3389 for this remote connection. And since the port isn't currently open on this server, the technician won't be able to connect. Therefore, to allow the technician to establish an RDP session with the web server, you will need to open port 3389 on the firewall. This will allow the communication channel between the technician's device and the server to work properly, letting them securely connect to the server from a remote location. After the work is done, it's a good idea to close this port again to reduce any potential security risks from leaving it open unnecessarily. Finally, let's cover application security. Some applications need network access to function properly, but allowing unrestricted access can be risky. Windows Defender Firewall lets you control which apps can communicate over the network. To manage this, go to Firewall and Network Protection and click Allow an app through the firewall. You'll see a list of apps and features, and from here, you can choose to allow or block them. You can also decide whether an app is allowed on private or public networks. This way, you reduce the risk of unauthorized apps or malware connecting to external servers. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.